welcome. I'm going to be touching the areas where the wash is. So we are going to first of all get some of the <laughs> Calador Sky. You weren't expecting that, were you? Now we're going to add that into what's the the stone host silver, which isn't much. So I'm going to have to get more of that. Really need to get another. Really need to get another um, jar of this. So, I won't have to change brushes because the areas I want to put this in are firmly small. So, for the Commodore Sky, it's basically in here. I'll go all around the top area of this. The Commodore Sky. Um, again, trying to make it metallic, not just flat blue. And there we go. So we have that bit done, and now. trying hopefully to make this there we go sorry I am concentrating now because I don't want to go over any areas that I don't want blue that will be fine Next, I'm going to go over this pipe. So, with these pipes with the blue, and what I'm going to do is add a darker blue to darker corner to the inside for the shadow because I don't particularly want the mold to look really bright blue like these do at the moment so we'll be adding darker blue there and I'm not going to do blue on that side because I don't want that bit blue but we are going to add blue to the There we go. And nearly finished. that done and yeah, I'm going to take this one as well and I'm going to put the blue on these pipes so I'm going to basically put the opposing colour on one side so it's going to be blue on one side and Orangey red on the other. So there we are. That's that one done. As I said, though, I'm going to pour a little bit of dark blue in the middle of the pipe. So I'm going to add to the blue we already have Abaddon Black. And that's going to really make it a dark blue there we are 
and that's just going to go in there just to give it that look of shadow there's one and the other one that's for that layer. Next we're going to be having a mix of the red and orange. So we have oops troll slayer orange a little spot of evil sun scarlet That just darkens the orange up a little bit. You don't need a great deal, as you can see there. And into that, we have the Stormhost Silver. More of that in there. And there we are. Okay, so I'm going to wash this brush out and go back to my little brush again. And we're going to do exactly the same with this colour as we did with the blue. So I'm going to run, up, run this orange along here just like so so on this on these particular pipes We've got orange on one side and blue on the other, and that's going to be on each of them. Program activated. supposed to be whether it's just chemicals or or what but I'm gonna say we're gonna do something really interesting or hopefully it's gonna be interesting okay so that's um we'll have that So we have Scorpion Green, the old colour, and then we have uh, Lauren Forest and Caliban Green. And this is going to be on the blue one. And we'll have this. I 
apply to the wet palette. the scorpion green if there is any left hopefully there is not a great amount there we go so let us proceed I want this Fairly wet going on. And we have this colour all over this part of the uh, tank, that's what you want to call it. run it all along the top edge as I said we don't want this to be um, what do you call it we don't want this going on the top areas and then into that we're going to add some swirls of this And this is going to adjust the colours Honestly, you've got to adjust in colour, change with the way it mixes. And then I'm going to change brush, go into a slightly smaller brush. Um, I think that's small. I'll use the set it on starter brush. And I'll go into that. I'll use that with the scorpion green and add some of that here and there just to bit of what's the word I'm looking for a little bit of colour and a little bit of movement into it and I'm trying to we don't want to leave any of the or a lot of the original colour showing because I want to make it look as though there is movement in here so that's why also I'm painting it badly is to show try and depict moving water or some form of moving liquid inside and hopefully that will do the job I'm taking extra care around the top edges and we'll see how it looks once it's finished no, sorry, not once it's finished, once it's dried. Let's see if it needs a um, a wash. I'm not sure if it will or not, but 
There we are. And what cover could we use for the bits? I'm going to use Zarius purple, Gene Stealer purple, and Emperor's Children for the other one. Okay, so we need quite a bit of the Zarius purple. Okay, so that's that one. Next, the um, the jean stealer purple. I don't think we need as much. There we are. And finally, Emperor's Children. It's a very pale kind of pinky purple. Let's <clears throat> give it a good shake. It's not been used for a while, this one. Now we'll have that in there, like so. And we will do exactly the same with the orange tank. So, start off with the Zarius purple. And as I said, try and get as thick a coat as we can on this and apply it very quickly so it is quite wet. I need to put more out. I have to be quite quick with this and make sure you have enough paint on your palette to do what you want to do. That's the one big drawback we're doing something like this, especially if it's a large surface area. The nature of acrylic paint is very fast drying. You have to really be on your toes. So that's that done for there. I'm just going to wipe most of it off, in fact, give it a bit of a rinse and get most of it off and then I'm getting with the Jean Steeler Purple. And it's I'm going to get it straight out the top, I think. It might be easy doing it that way. So, somewhere along the line, things aren't going right with this particular paint. Now, to give that a bit of a rinse, I'm going to the Emperor's Children. And as you can see, that's adding another shade. To the 
contents of the the vat. So I'll be going backwards and forwards into the Jean Steeler Purple, the, the Emperor's Children. I don't want to add too much of the Xerius Purple because that could swamp everything out. I also don't want to have um, too much of the Emperor's Children. Trying to make it as though it's like liquid flowing around in the and catching the lights in some certain certain ways as it flows. There we are. Right, so. <clears throat> that's almost that what I do need to do first off before I do anything else is knit back into the oh heck orange colour and I'm going to add a little bit of black into that again and just so I can add some shadows into in between the pipes like I did with the uh, the purple or the blue ones. So as I said, it's just going to add a little bit of dark I'm not looking at anything massive. That's my a little bit of green as well in the Hopefully we'll do it because at the moment it's not looking as though it's made any difference. There we are. That will do for that one. And there we are. That will do for that one. So all we have to do now is wait and see how this dries. But looking at it now, they look really nice. And I don't think we're going to have a problem with these drying the way we want them. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.